Welcome to the spoken tutorial on normal contact. In this tutorial, we will learn about the working of normal contact. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, LD Micro, Open PLC mainboard, 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS, USB ASP programmer, traffic light module, and switchboard module. To follow this tutorial, you should know how to program Open PLC mainboard and interface Open PLC modules with the mainboard. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect SMPS and USB ASP to the main board as shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. Now, let us open LD Micro. Insert a coil from instructions. Rename the coil as LED as shown. Place the cursor to the left of the coil. Insert a contact from instructions. Double click on the contact. A dialog box opens. We can find a checkbox called negated just below the name box. If it is checked, then the contact is a negated contact. If it is unchecked, then the contact is a normal contact. Normal contact will pass the signal when its state is logic 1. Thus, we have two types of contacts. These contacts have three source types which are internal relay, input pin and output pin. By default, negated is unchecked with source as input pin. Input pin represents that contact reads an input pin of the microcontroller. Don't change them. Keep the default settings as it is. We will learn about other types of contact and sources in the later tutorials. Rename the contact as switch and click the OK button. Now we will check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on simulation mode. Next, start real-time simulation as shown. Observe the state of X switch and Y LED in the I.O. list. Initially, the state of X switch and Y LED are zero. The input to the X switch is logic 1 as it is connected to positive rail. Change the state of X switch to 1 by double clicking on it. We can observe that the state of the Y LED has changed to 1. That means input to Y LED is logic 1. This in turn indicates that output of X switch is logic 1. Thus, when the state of a normal contact is 1, it passes the signal through it. Now, turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Now, let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on settings and select microcontroller AVR at Mega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Assign pin PA0 to the coil Y LED. Then assign the pin PC0 to X switch. Compile it as normal contact dot hex. Then save the ladder diagram as normal contact dot LD. Now, we will see the working of this logic on hardware. 
connect the mainboard to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T key simultaneously. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown and upload this hex file to the mainboard. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Connect ground and 5 volts of the switchboard to ground and 5 volts of the mainboard respectively. Then connect NVO1 of the switchboard to PC0 of the mainboard. Connect ground pin of the red LED of traffic light module to ground pin of the mainboard. Then connect plus 5 volt pin of the red LED to PA0 pin of the mainboard. Make the connections as shown in the picture. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. We can observe the red LED is off initially. It is on whenever the NVO1 is pressed. That is, the corresponding switch LED and the red LED glows simultaneously. Now, connect PC0 to NC1 instead of NVO1 as shown in the picture. Let me show the live demo of the output. We can observe that the red LED glows even before the switch is pressed and turns off whenever the NC1 is pressed. That is, the corresponding switch LED and the red LED glows alternately. Now, connect PC0 to L1 as shown in the picture. Initially, the red LED is off. When L1 is pressed, both L1 switch LED and the red LED turns on. The LED will turn off when we press L1 one more time as these are LAT switches. Thus, the corresponding switch LED and the red LED glows simultaneously. This shows how a normal contact behaves with different types of switches. Turn off the power supply. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about working of normal contact. Here is a self-assessment question for you. Suppose that the input to normal contact is logic 0 with its state as logic 1. What will be the state of the normal coil? The answer is the state of the normal coil will be 0. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSSE forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSSE and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSSE team signing off. Thanks for watching.